Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? It is me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler, and uh, I want to do this quick vlog regarding the micro LEDs because I didn't really have a chance yesterday to do a Q&A. Originally, I wanted to do a Q&A yesterday, but uh, I was busy doing a live stream of uh, Dante's Awakening in native 4K live stream, uh, Dead or Alive. I mean, not Dead or Alive, Devil May Cry. <laughs> Devil May Cry 5 live stream, which I did yesterday, so I missed out on my Q&A live stream. So I felt this vlog right here uh, should answer some of the questions that have been asked of me regarding the uh, micro LEDs. And that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, briefly, I'll talk about the micro LEDs. A lot of people have asked me, how come you don't mention micro LEDs that much? How come you don't talk about the micro LEDs? Uh, they were shown on the uh, CES Vegas on the floor. Uh, they look very promising. Yes, uh, I am aware of the micro LEDs. I have seen them. I have looked into them. But guys, there's still so much we don't know about the micro LEDs. There's that's still uh, something that's being developed behind the closed doors. Uh, Samsung only showed us a little brief uh, peek into it, a little peek into it, meaning that they told us that this technology, this panel technology, supposed, supposedly, 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 allegedly, should be the brightest, the brightest, let me repeat this one more time, in case YouTube subtitles didn't uh, correctly uh, register this, it's supposed to be supposedly supposed to be the brightest emissive panel the brightest emissive panel now why is this a big deal when we say the brightest emissive panel because this is the one caveat that's missing on the OLED is the fact that it cannot get any brighter than 800 to 850 nits uh, you're not gonna go any, any higher than that and you don't want to go any higher than that on the uh, OLED because if you go any higher than that, you're going to potentially have even higher risk of burn-in. And this is the one big caveat that, that's stopping the OLED from being that, that perfect, perfect, perfect uh, uh, panel. Okay. Now, micro LEDs allegedly, uh, this is what allegedly Samsung is claiming that it's supposedly supposed to be a panel not only is it going to be the brightest panel that's going to be able to reach out to lumens brightness of 4000 nits peak brightness maybe even higher and that's pretty damn amazing to to have a panel emissive panel like that that can reach that ma that much of a peak brightness but at the same time it's going to be the thinnest panel that's emitting by itself and it's going to be very light you will be able to pretty much take it apart, uh, put it into like a little uh, 20 inch squares and put them uh, anywhere you want to put them on the wall. You will be able to adjust the ratio of your screen. You will be able to do an IMAX, if you will, with micro LED. You will be able to do different types of ratios with uh, the micro LED panels. And they have shown this on the floor this year on uh, CES Vegas. They have shown this. I have seen it. It looks pretty cool. But then again, guys, uh, there's still so much we don't know. It's not like uh, they gave everyone an opportunity to to test the the micro LED panels. No one is allowed to test micro LED panels. There is one model, the prototype model, they shown. I think it's 80 inch uh, OLED. Not OLED, I'm sorry, micro LED, <laughs> micro LED 80 inch panel that is a prototype and it's a micro LED. It's 8K micro LED 80 inch panel. And uh, they haven't announced uh, the pricing or anything. Uh, they just said it's a prototype model. They're looking into that this is something they might test the waters. Uh, when they're going to release it, I don't know. It's still being in development. So this is the main reason, guys, why I haven't spoke much about the micro LEDs, because there's so much we don't know about the micro LEDs. 
like how long can you watch micro LEDs with a full blast, 4,000 nits, or let's say 3,000 nits peak brightness. Like let's say uh, you're watching it three days in a row, how long before some type of uh, burn-in happens, be before some type of uh, retention uh, on the screen happens or, or static imagery shows up, you know, we don't know this because no one has tested it. Now, Samsung claims that this is something that, that won't happen with micro LEDs. It's not organic and it cannot possibly happen. But then again, you know, I don't take the company's word for it unless people start testing it. I want to see people start testing it. Okay, if you want to uh, give us reassurance that your micro LEDs is the best there is, then let the people test it. Give it to the people, let, give it to the professionals, let them test it, let's see how long uh, before, if there's any potential problem that might occur, okay? So, um, like I said, this is the main reason why I never uh, talked about micro LEDs that much because there's so much speculations about it. They're also talking about uh, OLED with the QLED some kind of a hybrid that Samsung wants to do with the OLED and the QLED. I mean, there's so much happening, guys. So it, it, it's, uh, it's really, it's too, it's too early to talk about micro LEDs, guys. It's way too early to talk about micro LEDs. And when they do come out on the scene, when they do start releasing the micro LEDs, they're gonna be super expensive, guys. Uh, you're gonna be, prepare yourself to pay $10,000 on an 80 inch micro LED, I'm being serious. Uh, it's gonna be super expensive. So who's gonna be buying it? Uh, I mean, sure there's gonna be some people out there who's gonna buy it, but uh, right now it's still early to talk about micro LEDs. And uh, that's why I never really got into that. That's why I really never talk about them so much because it's so much that we don't know about the micro LEDs. There's so much out there that, um, it's being kept secret by Samsung. Samsung's not telling us, uh, it's not telling us any, any, anything. They're, they're just pretty much, you know, letting us know that this is gonna be the brightest TV, emissive TV panel out there, uh, period. Okay, fine, but uh, when you're gonna release it? What models do you have in mind? Uh, when are you gonna let people start testing it? Why are you not letting people test it? You know, uh, there's so much unknown that we don't know about uh, the micro LEDs. It could potentially change the OLED. It could potentially change the LCD panel. And I'm pretty sure something will change uh, the OLED and LCD panels in the future. But what that's going to be, I don't know. Is it going to be micro LED? Your guess is good as mine. No one really knows. Okay, it's still hard to tell. So that's how I feel about the micro LEDs. Uh, and one more question that a lot of people have been asking is the physical media discs. Guys, uh, I think I already spoke about this. I, I did a video on it. Um, physical media disc, it's slowly dying. Even right now, when you go to the stores, you see less and less uh, video games out there being put. I mean, you see, but on the Xbox, you, you see a small roll of, of, of games on PlayStation you see some but guys they're slowly dying away physical media discs are slowly gonna die away they're gonna fade away uh, same is gonna go with the with the movies the Panasonic stopped making their uh, no one's even talking about the future players CS Vegas didn't show any players no one even talks about the the players anymore why because they're slowly fading away why do you think Oppo decides to drop and this is the biggest the most successful uh player brand on the market they dropped their players they're not making them anymore why would they do that they do that because they know what's coming down the road so they decide to quit to pull the curtain on it okay before they lose any kind of stock money or whatever they don't they want to make their investors happy same thing with panasonic same thing with samsung these are the big companies not making uh, 4K players anymore. And why are they not making 4K or 8K players anymore? Because they know that the physical media is going to fade away and that's it. 
So uh, I wish that this wasn't the truth. And, you know, I've been preaching about this for since 2017, even though, even though I purchased my Oppo in 2017, but I was still telling people, there's a video of me in 2017 where I was telling people, yes, I know I have this beautiful Oppo UDP 203 4K player, but guys, uh, physical media is going to fade away pretty soon. And, and guess what? Everything I told you so far, it's turning out to be true. Same thing with the Xbox. The Xbox, uh, it's looking to make a new redefined console to be without a uh, disc inside. It's just going to be hard drive. And I think a lot of you, God, should I, you know what? I guess I need to say this. All right. I hope I'm wrong. I really do hope I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'll be right on this one. You can come back to this video. When they announce PlayStation 5 next year, next year, when they announce the PlayStation 5 next year, you can come back to this video or I can come back to this video. If I'm alive, if nothing happens to me, I don't know. I don't have the magic uh, crystal ball, uh, God willing, uh, if nothing happens. Let's say on next year, 2020, Sony announces release of the PlayStation 5. And guess what's going to happen when they announce the release of PlayStation 5? One biggest disappointment that all of you are going to have, it's not the power, it's going to have a, all that power that you're going to need to have the best photorealistic graphics and all that other stuff. It's going to have all of that. It will support the, the VR and 4K and all that stuff. But the one thing that's going to surprise you, it's not going to be the price point. It's not going to be the, the horsepower that it has. It's going to be the fact that there won't be any player built inside. There won't be any discs inside. There won't be any players built inside. You won't be able to use a player. There won't be any player built inside. Why this is, guys, first of all, it will cost them money to invest into a player and into the discs, them knowing that the physical media it's fading away the, the companies are not going to invest money into something that they feel they don't need majority of people right now they're buying games digitally they're getting stuff digitally okay they don't want to wait in line uh, at midnight waiting to pick up the game they actually want to have a game preloaded downloaded ready to go at midnight boom so they can live stream all right so i'm telling you right now Guys, I'm telling you right now, you will be pleasantly surprised. Uh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say pleasantly surprised. I should say you will be pleasantly disappointed. You'll be pleasantly disappointed. Let me repeat that one more time. Next year, you will be pleasantly disappointed when you hear the news that both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox new console will not support physical media, will not support any player built inside. You're going to be very, very disappointed. But then again, you shouldn't be disappointed. You shouldn't be shocked by all this because this is something that, that, that's happening, guys, whether we like it or not. The physical media... Technology is always evolving. Things are evolving. And uh, the companies don't care about certain percentage that doesn't like it. They have to go by the majority. What is that the majority wants? The majority wants a on the cloud, digital, an instant. They want to be able to download their games. They want the hard drive, the, the biggest hard drive there is. And they will put probably the biggest hard drive, like five terabytes or something in there but guys you can forget about the physical media discs same goes for the movies it is what it is so uh, I don't know what else to tell you guys I wish that I was wrong but I'm 100% I'm 100% positive about physical media discs 
uh, uh, going away. They're going to go away, whether whether uh, you like it or not, guys. It, it doesn't matter on on how you feel about it. It doesn't matter how I feel about it. Uh, they, 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 let me ask you this. Look at Blockbuster and look what Netflix has done to Blockbuster. Look at Blockbuster. No one would have believed, oh, this 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 online streaming service will be able to destroy this big giant franchise called the Blockbuster with so many investors. Well, fast forward to today. Guess what happened? Doesn't exist. Blockbuster doesn't exist anymore. So remember, uh, things ch can always change. And they are changing. And they're changing in a very fast pace now. Things are rapidly, every and each year, things are progressing much faster than back in, in 98, 99. Okay? Things are progressing so quick, so fast nowadays that uh, it's really, really, um, it's both exciting and scary at the same time, you know. Uh, now you have robots show up at your hospital bed to tell you if the doctor's too busy making its rounds, if the doctor's too busy because the doctor doesn't have time to be walking around around the entire hospital, he sends a robot with a uh, monitor that shows up uh, doctor's face and the doctor uh, talks to you via the monitor and tells you the news and whatnot. So things are changing. Everything's changing, man. Technology is advancing so quick, so fast, so rapidly that it's really, uh, like I said, both scary and both uh, exciting at the same time. Well, anyway, there you have it. I talked a little bit about micro LEDs. I talked about the physical media. And I think uh, this is something that, like I said, as far as the physical media discs, uh, guys, it's going away. That 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 stuff, it's uh, going away. I, I mean, I hate to be the, the guy to tell you this news, but it better be me than someone else to tell you this news. Uh, in terms of uh, micro LEDs, I don't know, guys. Is micro LEDs going to be the next best thing? I don't know. I, I have no idea if micro LEDs are, are, will be that next best thing. They could be, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Right now, it's still early to talk about micro LEDs because there's so much we don't know about micro LEDs. So um, we'll have to wait and see. All right. So I hope this video makes out for my uh, Q&A that I missed out yesterday. I'm going to try to do my Q&A on Sunday. So we'll have uh, episode 17 uh, Q&A on Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday. All right. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching uh, this video, and I'm uh, I'm gonna catch you guys soon. Uh, thank you, and thank you for reaching that thirty thousand milestone. I, I, I'm I'm still blown away. I still can't believe that we got this far. And uh, but hey, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate every and each one of you for supporting me, for making sure that uh, my channel grows. I'm so proud of the fact that I did this without any sponsors. Sure, I have a partner where I make some money from monetization, but it's no sponsors. No one's sponsoring me. I don't have any donations, uh, everything. It's pretty much me doing it like this without any logos, without any uh, thumbnails saying click here, click there. But hey, once I reach to, to 50K, maybe even 100K, once I get to 100K, if I ever get to 100K, you guys can bet that I will start doing some merchandise. I'm going to start making some t-shirts about the 4K. I'm going to start making some uh, coffee cups, mugs with 4K, uh, stuff like that. So there will be there. There will be giveaways and whatnot. means that the, the, the bigger I grow, then I will have more room to work with uh, merchandise and other stuff in the future. But that's still down the road. It's still out there in the future. I don't want to talk about that too much because it's still so far, far, far away. I like to take it one step at a time, baby steps. But like I said, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, I'll see you soon, though. Have a good one, though. Take care. Cheers.